Hello everybody, my name is Melissa, also known as Bricks on the Loose, and today we are playing some survival games on the Mindplex server. I am currently recording this voiceover after recording the actual footage, because when I'm talking and playing, it just it just doesn't work. I have to, like, pre-record it and then voiceover sometimes. I don't even know. Anyways, it's a really cool video. I kill quite a few people and possibly win, so you should definitely stay for the entirety of this video. Anyways, um... So today's topic, I was trying to think about what I should talk, and I realized, hey, listen, yesterday, I posted a video, um, basically, I believe it's titled, Join the Modded Minecraft Server in Fetera today, or something like that. So basically, what I'm doing, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go check it out right away, link will be in the description down below. But anyways, today I just wanted to talk about the server, maybe clear up a few things, just talk about it and chill. So, um, I've been wanting to do this idea for a very long time now. Over the pa past few months, sorry, I've been thinking about it a lot. And, and it's not an idea that suddenly came to me. Um, yeah, again, for at least half a year I've been thinking about this, throwing around the idea. And everyone has a lot more time in the summer, so I thought, let's just, I'll, I'm gonna think about it for five months and then, and then we'll do it. So believe me when I say it's a well thought out server. If you haven't seen the website yet, it's infotera.weebly.com. Link will also be in the description down, down below for that. It, this, I wanted to keep the website pretty simple, so all, all it is is the homepage with my video explaining it. There's a link to the application form and the payment FAQ down below. And I have a meet the team section. Um, and on that, it basically just says who's helping out with the server and then the description of everybody. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, that's my, like, my favorite page uh, of the whole website. And then we, excuse me, we have a page called this week's event. So each week, I'm going to be hosting a contest or an event of sorts. Um, so I'll just re read what I have written here. To keep the server active and exciting, each week there will be an event. Events range from a full-out war to a building contest. Some are province against province, and some are player against player. Each contest ends on the Saturday, so make sure you have completed whatever you need to complete by midnight on Saturday. So basically, the first one... So the first one is from June 1 to 6, because the server officially starts June 1st. Which is kind of nice, because it's on a Monday, and Monday is kind of like the beginning of the week in a way. Um, so, and it's called Writing the History Books. So, um, basically, I'm not going to announce what exactly this is going to involve till the actual week, so you guys can't prepare for it or anything. Um, but we're going to have stuff like building contests. And the building contests aren't going to be province against province. That's player against player. So each player can submit a building, and it's a building contest, as you can imagine. Any sport, like, any special... Things I'm not going to announce it now, but it'll be a building contest. Like, what else can you expect? Um, some weeks are going to be wars. So that's going to be province versus province. Each province is going to try to get the most kills or inflict the most damage on their enemies. Again, more details to follow once that actually comes closer. Sometimes there'll be survival games, and a, of course that is player versus player. Sometimes there might be a UHC, and that would be more like province versus province. So you're not in your province, you're not always out for the other province, and you're not always teaming with your province, just sometimes. So that's pretty cool. And then, also on the website, it has the handbook. Now this brings you to a Google Doc, so it's a little bit separate, um, but it's pretty cool. So it's called the handbook, and it basically just has tons of information on what's going on with the server. It, it explains pretty much everything. It's pretty cool. It talks about the provinces. So the four provinces are Abbot, uh, sorry. Ababeth, Tritar, Thari, and Lorodia. And for example, Ababeth is located in the plus plus sector. So your coordinates, if you look at them and they're both positive, you're in Ababeth. If one's the first one's positive and the second is negative, it's Tritar, etc. It talks about that. We've got server rules, they're pretty basic. Um, stuff like that. We've got a calendar with the first few events I've listed. Um, and of course, as we go on, I will explain them more in detail and give more examples. Um, I've got Information for YouTubers, so if you are a YouTuber and you're interested in joining, you are totally free to record or stream it. I do have just a few pointers, there are only four pointers for you, so that's also in the handbook, but I definitely encourage all YouTubers to record on here. We've got some mod pack info on what mods we'll be using. Again, for those of you who don't know, it is going to be the FTV Infinity Pack as the base mod pack. Um, we are re removing quite a few mods because it is a loaded mod pack, which is totally awesome, but we want everyone's computers to be able to handle it. So, in the handbook, there is, um, a list of mods that we will be removing, and two that we will be adding, which is Flans mod and Lootable Bodies. So, that's pretty cool, um, so you know what's going on. Now, this is subject to change, um, we are working on some easy ways so you don't have to go through your, everything and just delete it manually. 
Um, so we are working on some easier stuff, but that is just for now, just to give you an idea of what's going to happen. Again, it'll probably change. And then at the end of the handbook is just some links to social media, like Infoterra, Twitter, the website, um, and a help email, which is help.infoterra at hotmail.com. You can email that with any questions you may have. So yeah, this uh, website, I'm pretty proud of it. It's, it's really simple, which I like and awesome. So definitely go check it out. I really want you guys to go check that out. It's in the description down below. And definitely think about joining. I know it is $10, and maybe not. I mean, everyone probably has $10. And I know as a kid or a teenager, if you don't have a job, it's really hard to come across money. Um, but I mean, your parents are always there. You can mow someone's lawn, shovel their driveway. Um, now, I know not everyone has PayPal. I definitely prefer PayPal, and I would like everyone to pay with PayPal. But maybe an odd case here and there, you will be able to buy me select games. Like, there's a few games on Steam that I'm thinking about buying, and if you would like to buy them for me, a, a games that cost around $10, if you want to buy them for me, you could just gift them to me instead of paying me $10 if that works better for you because you don't have PayPal. I'm not really sure. Um, we can talk about it with you. I definitely would like everyone to use PayPal, though. And I believe I talk about it in the payment information FAQ page, but uh, I accept 10 US dollars, 10 Canadian dollars, 10 euros, 7 pounds, or 11 Australian dollars. Um, so if you live in Australia... Europe, Canada, US. Those are the currencies that I will accept. Um, no others though, so please pay me one of those. And I know 10 euros, uh, pounds, uh, like all those Australian dollars, it does equal to a little bit more than 10 Canadian dollars, but it's up to you. You can pay me any of those there, all acceptable. US and Canadian is preferred, but that is up to you. So anyways, this server, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great modded server. Um, so you can build your own base and do your own thing. You can play with teammates. Um, it's something a little sp like you can you can just play normal Minecraft, uh, mod Minecraft, or you can join your province and have fun. Like it's it's just totally awesome, and I think it's gonna be great for me to record. I will be recording it. I'm at least two videos a week on this server. It's going to be a blast. I know a few other people who are also recording, so it's just, it's just gonna be amazing. And I suggest you guys all check out the description down below for that information. Uh, you can also go to Nick's channel because he posted a video uh, of him talking about it too. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Got quite a few kills there. I believe it was five in this game. I don't know. Fun fact, I've won every single game I've played on this map on Mindplex Survival Games. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I beg you, check out the links in the description down below. Uh, comment down below what you think, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.